Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I was supposed to upload the second video and get this learning and teaching thing going ASAP. But things happen, life happen, and I'm here. And I'm going to upload more videos after this constantly, consistently. Going to keep you guys rolling. Okay, okay. So to start off with, today we are going to talk about when did I become a healer and five tips to help you hone in on what your healing ability is and how strong it is. Before we get started, is to make sure if you like what I'm saying here and you're wanting to learn more, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video. I'm looking at the right part of the camera now. <laughs> so here we go. Question. The first question I was asked was, when did I become an intuitive healer? Here's the thing, y'all, the day I was born, because everyone on this earth can do this. Now, some people might be better than others, but everyone on this earth can heal. Some people might be stronger, again, but everybody can heal. It's just like if you're playing soccer, somebody might be stronger and better at it than the next person. That's exactly how it is with healing or anything you do intuitive. So there we go. Now, the first tip I'm going to give you guys today is You have got to know who you are because doing what this thing called healing, people still are not open-minded about this. So therefore, you're going to have to know who you are. So when someone comes up against you and say, hey, this is not real and you're a flop or you're this and you're that, you have to be strong enough to go against this person and let them know that you are not some type of fake or whatever. You have to let them know that you are a healer and you stand by what, what it is that you do. You have to know who you are. If, you're, if your energy is doubting itself, then your faith is going to doubt itself and you're not going to be strong at all. So the first tip of the day is know who you are when it comes to energy healing. Don't let anyone back you down. Stand up to them, feel good about it, and you'll give out that energy. You have to be okay with not being able to heal every single person you come across. Every single person is not meant for you to heal them. Every single person might, let me take that back. Every single person is not meant for you to heal them. Some people are meant to go through their struggle, their pain, or whatever it is that they're going through so that they can give their testimony or they can experience what it is that they're going through and help someone who might be going through it. But they will eventually be healed if it's meant for them to have to be healed. So be okay with not being able to heal everyone. It's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with your energy. Your energy is still there. It's just that that particular person you're healing just might not be ready to heal. Or the healing might not happen right away. Sometimes you have to leave that energy with that person so that they can go ahead and heal and overnight let their body rest. And then that's when they'll feel the healing. So just be okay with it. Trust your vibe. Everyone gets some type of feeling when they're doing healing that lets them know that it's working. Or if you want to know what's going on with the person, you can ask the question, okay, what's wrong with this person? And if you give it a chance, you'll get the answer. It's just that you have to trust the vibe. It might be something in your hand. It might be a gut feeling. It might be your teeth might chatter. You might start shaking anything. Trust your vibe. Go with that vibe. If you follow that vibe, you'll get all the answers you need when it comes to healing that person that you're trying to heal. You'll even find a way to heal them. You'll know exactly what to use to heal them. So sometimes when I heal, I see different uh colors on my hand that are flame. Sometimes they're flame, sometimes it's uh, beams of light. I still see that and I trust that. And whenever it's something different, like sometimes I'll see blue. I know that sometimes that the blue means to chip off. The blue is there to chip off some scar tissue that might be going on with the bone or in the muscle or in the fat. So trust your vibe. If you see something in your head, like a, a light or something, use that light. Go with what you see. go black now go black is number four because the last one is the best one go black means that to clear your mind to where there's nothing in your mind just that you see black um the best time to go black is when you're half when you're almost sleepy and when you're sleepy that's your alpha mode beta mode is during the daytime when you're thinking a lot and a lot of people try to do their healing 
or they're thinking during the day and then they can't get the answer that they're looking for. So they feel like they're a failure or they feel like they can't do something. Well, I'm telling you now, that's the wrong time to be thinking about something that's super important. The best time to think about something important is when you're going to sleep or when you're just waking up, kind of when you're in that still sleepy mode. That is alpha mode. Go black in alpha mode. Alpha mode is, like I said, when you're sleepy, you kind of really don't, you know, you're not really functioning just yet. The mind hasn't had a chance to work or it's quieting down. Go black. Clear your mind as you're falling asleep and tell yourself what it is that you're trying to do. So when you're going to sleep and you're laying down, you say, I'm going black. You tell your mind, go black, go black. And what that does is it's clearing your brain. It's clearing your brain out. Once you go black, try bringing in images of flowers of whatever once you see a flower it doesn't have to maintain for long give it like two seconds and then bring in a beam of light and the beam of light will come from wherever you want it to with me i have beams of light that come in all different areas that way i am sure to get what it is that i'm trying to do if i'm trying to recharge myself from healing all day long that's what i do i go black you want once you get really good at this you won't have to go black all the time when you're going to be able, I like to do it just to make sure that everything that I have came into today has cleared out. So remember, you guys, it's called go black. Mentally tell yourself, go black. That's the most important rule out of all this because you need to be able to, I'm sorry, my face keep itching. I don't know what's going on. You need to be able to clear your mind to start charging yourself to be able to heal and to bring in that, that the right energy and the right light. So remember, key word here is go black. Have fun and relax. You have to be able to have fun this way. I don't know what's going on with me. Sorry. It might be this little bang I have. You need to be able to have fun and relax because everything you're going to come in contact to, in, in contact with, would not be the right thing thing to come in contact and sometimes that energy attaches to you but if you're having fun and you're relaxing you know it's hard for it to stay on you it'll shake off it's hard for you to feel bad and happy at the same time so therefore remember relax have fun do whatever it takes to have fun laugh sometimes i turn on the most hypest music ever and dance through the house or i'll lay in my bed and dance in the bed you know just because i'm just trying to get rid of that and just have fun you have to be able to take your mind off of whatever it was that you healed that way it doesn't stick with you and cause you illnesses um i'll run around the house with the kids i'll uh mess with my dogs i'll dance through the house with the kids i mean i do a lot with my kids because that's who I'm mainly around. But remember, you have to relax. You have to have fun. And while you're doing all this and you're having fun and you're running through the house and all this stuff, remember that that energy is recharging you. When you're laughing, you're playing and all that stuff, that energy recharges you and heals you. So remember, have fun, be relaxed, and all that good stuff. So here it is, guys. I hope these things that I gave you today will help you become the super healer you want to be. Um, there's more to come. I am the intuitive medical healer, Letitia Rocker. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell at the bottom. That way you'll know whenever I load things up. I do have more coming to you. It's just that we all have to do it in strides and don't want to overwhelm you guys. So here we go. Practice, practice, practice. Leave in the comments below on what you guys did, how this came about for you. If you used any of the steps that I gave you, do it all. Again, this is your girl, the Intuitive Medical Healer, and I, will, I am signing off and getting ready for tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.